Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode here with Amazing Ruben and where today we are recording on the Windows 10 edition. Now this might seem the most incredible thing you ever heard of. Yes, the Amazing Ruben is actually on the Windows 10 edition. Now this is a big surprise because a lot of work got into this. That's why I haven't done, been doing that much videos because I've been working hard to make to bring you the best possible videos ever with the best quality and I want my fans to be happy with good quality and good understanding of life and happiness anyways <laughs> so today uh, as you can see on the screen uh, today uh, we are gonna 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 uh, well first of all I have to take Sally back home I'm sorry you can't take your girl uh, we're gonna take, have to take somebody else um, let's see who do we want to take I'm gonna take Sally back because she does not deserve to be here any longer than she actually has to because, you know, not every dog wants to do whatever the owner wants to do for so long. Anyway, so hopefully you're, record hopefully you're enjoying the Minecraft Windows 10, Windows 10 Edition gameplay. Hey Sally, come back here. Let me move you over here. So, I'll just leave you there. Anyways, uh, so who are we taking uh, today? I think Ruben Jr. for the special occasion. So you might be wondering how I'm playing on my Minecraft Pocket Edition world on Minecraft Windows Station. It's a long story, I'll explain it during the video. But anyways, let me first explain what I'm doing today. Now, I already did a video later, to, uh, later uh, earlier today with Brian doing the piggy, flying piggy game. And it was a good fun, great fun. It was very simple. Well, not simple, but fun. And we had a good time, and hopefully you enjoyed that video once I upload it. I don't know which one I'm going to upload first. Probably the other one. The, the other one. This one's going to take like a little while with editing and such like that. But anyways, uh, so yeah, today we are going to... Uh, well, I'm going to build something new into my house today. Now today, uh, we are going to build a potion room. You heard me correctly. A potion room. So now you might be wondering, why do you need a potion room? When you have like potions up there, well, everybody has to look snaggy. I mean, we already got hard, we already did the hard work to get all the stuff we already have, and I think we should start making our rooms cool, snazzy. I mean, we got a dog house, we got a manly workhouse, um, we got a trash house, and we got ourselves a treasure room. But anyways, uh, so today we're gonna get ourselves a potion room. Hopefully, this this will be the greatest potion room you ever seen. Anyways, um, so today. Uh, we we got some uh what do we call it uh dark oak wood from right here as you can see we got ourselves dark oak wood now I'm gonna use this dark oak oak wood to uh, to make the walls and the floors and the roof as such now it's very easy to play this version most I'm not even using my own keyboard it's surprising as you can see is it, you have the A B X Y and you know which controllers have that the, the Xbox three sixty controller. Oh, the Xbox One also has it, but you you know I'm not gonna gonna be rich enough to have an Xbox One. I mean, if I had an Xbox One, I would be recording from it. But you know, some people are not rich. They're not born rich. They have to get rich, and I'm one of those people. Well, I don't I don't I don't want to 100 PC be rich because mostly rich people live sometimes sad lives. It depends how their childhood is. Like if their childhood is like fun, then. Hallelujah, mate. Hallelujah. Anyways, uh, what do I want to do here? No, no, I don't want to mess this part up. I, I want to leave this cobblestone where, where it was. This this one right here. Uh huh. So yeah, you ever wonder how rich kids live their lives? If their if their lives are just pretty much the same or it's different? Or I mean, my, a poor kid's life it's kind of it's kind of fun mostly because your parents are usually gonna be always there. I mean, you might have difficult times like. Oh, we can't buy you this toy or something. But that's not too bad. You rather have your parents in any toy. Well, when I was a when I was a little kid, I was spoiled, and I probably told you this so many times. Hashtag spoiled child. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I was a very spoiled child, and I really cared about my toys when I was a little kid. I think I was. I never wanted anything else but a toy, lots of toys, and I was really into Spider-Man toys because you know I'm. A Spider-Man fan, as you can see, with my whole Minecraft skin. Anyways, uh, so let me just break this block over here. Anyways, uh, so yeah, rich, rich people lives. Go talk, go talk with your friends about it to see what they say about it. 
you know, if you're a rich person, tell me, and you're watching this video, I don't know why, you should go to rich YouTube, because that's where the rich people hang out. You know, that, that would be funny, if they had, like, a rich YouTube, like, thingy. If, like, you know, this is, this, this is ex exclusive for only rich people. Only rich people can have this. Nobody else can have this. Only the rich and powerful people can have this. And imagine that's how the world ran. Like, sooner or later, it's going to be that, that way. You know why? Because the internet is kind of new and it's, not, it's, 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 it's a brand new concept. And sooner or later, racism is, well, racism is already on the internet. So insults are definitely already in the internet. But sooner or later, they're going to have things that, that are like, oh, only the rich people. Rich and exclusive people can have this, or something in those terms. Now, hopefully, you're enjoying this Windows Windows 10 edition uh, gameplay. I know I am because I am just enjoying enjoying this Xbox 360 controller. You you just don't know how much a controller is better than a touch screen or uh, what you may call it or a keyboard. You know, I'm not used to keyboard or or a touch screen that much, but I'm definitely used to a controller. Now, it doesn't have to be the, the Xbox 360 controller because I'm also used to the PlayStation controller. I'm, I'm used to any controller for me that was made for gaming. You know what? I, I could even use my own uh, my own TV control if, it, if I, that's the only option I had. Like, my own TV control, like, you know, the one that changes the changer. But who knows? Who knows if you have TV anymore? Maybe you people don't even watch TV anymore. I know I watch TV because I'm a poor, poor person. We And my parents don't have a credit card. Because, yeah, it's a, it's a hard life being poor, and yeah, we don't have insurance either. So, either way, we don't we don't really need a credit card. We're good as as life goes on, and now uh, we got money, and everybody loves money. We, they don't they, when people rob you, rob you, rob you. They, they they don't usually go for your credit card. They usually go for your money, unless they're uh, unless they can. Do they they can they're very not they're not very smart and notice that you could just turn off your credit card whenever you whenever it's stolen or whenever it's missing. I mean, that's what they even advertise those in the commercials these days. Why don't you, why don't robbers know that when they try to rob a credit card? I mean, then again, the person might forget like the credit card company number or maybe the credit card num the credit card company. Well, it's gonna be like a little. Little of a little bit of a annoyance, very annoying. You know, they they can have like a one of those rough days where they just don't want to talk to anybody, but that that's pretty much their job. Yeah, that that, that could be that that they could have one of those days. You just gonna go like, holy shoot, somebody stole my credit card. I, I need I need I need them to I need them to protect it, and then you're just having one of those awful company days where they can't do they just can't do anything correct. You know, everything's just going wrong. Just, just, just imagine a guy named Joe. Joe just came out of bed feeling all tired. Didn't feel like going to work that day. If you know, his, uh, his back starts hurting very badly. And that just makes his mood just a whole lot lower. You know, you just have just one of those days. You have one of those days that you sleep well. And you feel well. And you're happy well. And you have one of those days where your leg is hurting so much and annoys you so badly, you know. I, even the amazing Ruben has those days, and I just seem happy all the time in my videos, don't I? So yeah, um, uh, we all have the uh, just. So let's just get back to Joe. Joe got out of bed, back is hurting, made his day a little worse, but he he's gonna continue on because he's Joe, and Joe is kind of a positive person, somewhat non-negative, in some some way not negative. Why am I saying not negative? Some way negative. There we go. In some ways negative, but just determines how his day is going. But anyways, his back is hurting. He gets. He, yeah, it turns out that he left his car keys inside the car, and he's gonna have to walk to to uh to his job, and it's not gonna be an easy. Or either that, or get on a subway, or a taxi, or something. Either way, he's not very happy about that. Now he's gonna have to call. Uh, the fire department or whatever you people call when you forget your car keys in, inside your uh, inside your uh, what should I call it inside your car you know I never done that because mostly because I don't have a car I'm a very poor person anyways um where was it uh, yes um so um uh getting distracted here uh, so yeah Joe was just getting got to work he's having one of those 
bad days. But the thing is, it gets even worse. Turns out there's a little child in the subway. And the, ch the child is just screaming super loudly. And let's just say Joe didn't even sleep that good that, that night. Because his, because he just had one of those nights that you just can't sleep for some reason. Or maybe there was some video game tournament that was only going to happen that, that night. And you just, you just had to. Get into it, you know. We all have the all. The, we all have those nights that you, it just says one night exclusive. We have a humongous tournament. Tournament. I can't even say that word. Why can't I say? Why can't I speak English, ladies and gents? Why can't I speak English? Anyways, so you just have this one big, uh, one big event that's only gonna happen this one night, and you you, you just really don't want to miss it, and so you just don't. You just play. So like it finishes like around twelve a.m. You go to sleep. You just can't go to sleep because you just you just just wondering how that guy defeated you, and you're just going like, why did I lose? I could have won a million dollars. I could have forgotten this job and gone to another job. But anyway, just they just continue with Joe. And you know, Joe is having one, still having that bad day. And then let's just say Joe gets gets uh, off the subway. And I say he's hungry and he gets a hot dog. Turns out the hot dogs, the hot dog guy, accidentally didn't clean the hot dogs good enough, and it and the hot dog gave him food poisoning. And yeah, yeah. He, the next day he's gonna have one of those rough days, but his stomach, his head is gonna hurt. That's all we need to say. His head starts hurting, and then yeah, it's it, you just give up once your head starts hurting. Like people, strong people are gonna go like, why are you so weak? Why am I so weak? Are you literally telling me why I'm so weak? That's not something you tell to a person who has a headache. What you tell a person that has a headache is, oh, sit down, please, please sit down. I don't, I don't want you to get more hurt than you already are. But you know, there's some um, annoying people in the world, just like me. I'm sometimes annoying, you know. I could just be joking one, once in a while, but... I do get serious, like whenever somebody gets hurt, I don't want to joke around that much. You know, there's some people who just don't know when to stop joking around. They just don't know. I know when to stop joking around. I mean, I joke all the time, but I know when to stop. That's the, that's the most important thing. If you don't know how to stop, because you should go see a doctor or something. But anyways, um, so Joe get it, it gets a headache. It's at work. All that bad stuff happened to him. He's pretty, he, he pretty much wants to go to sleep. And the next thing, it turns out that, uh, I don't know, he might get, he has the possibility of getting fired, so he, he's gonna be, he's pretty much stressed out, and he's trying his best to, to keep his job, you know, that, that's not the easy, that's not an easy thing these days, you know. So, yeah, so he, he's stressed out, everything hurts, his head hurts, you know, that, that's very much the most horrible day you can think of. And then, and then let's get back to our example now, to our uh, little, um, little, uh, what you might call it, uh, our little credit card emergency where you lose the credit card, and then, and then you want to call call the in insurance company, and you tell them, oh, you tell the insurance company, oh, I lost it, and stuff like that. And it turns out you luckily get to be with uh, the only, the one, the only, uh, Joe, and Joe is going like. Ugh, how can I help you? And then you go like, uh, yeah, I lost my credit card. Uh, I wonder if you could stop it so anybody who finds it doesn't steal anything or any of the sorts, sort of things. And he was like, sure. And then, and then you say, thank you. And he, he says, all right, uh, let me, let me just get started with this. And let me review. Oh, he's stressed out. He's sleepy. And everything hurts. His head hurts. What do you do once your head hurts and your and everything else hurts? You know what you do? You know what you you know what I do? You know what the normal human would do? You would go to sleep. That's the number thing any any hu normal human would do. A robot would just stay awake, do the work, and continue off doing his work and ke hopefully keep his job. But no, Joe's not a robot. We never to said that Joe was a robot. We told you that Joe is a human and humans make mistakes especially I do you can all relate in that in that sort of way anyways let me uh, so yeah you know 
you you know what makes a, a, a the best day ever a best day ever I mean you're ha you could have a good day but somebody else is gonna have a bad day what makes it a good day is that you're not the one having the bad day so think about that just imagine that you're having a horrible day just you, you can just see some kid crying down the street you, you're going like oh thank goodness that's not me you know that that's good isn't it you, you have to be thankful for that for that because not everybody's gonna have a great day not everybody and not, you're not gonna always have a great day you know it's not a thing that always sticks with you for life I mean you, you have it maybe well I I since I'm a positive person it feels like I have a great day every day but who knows maybe I could have a horrible day but it just it doesn't seem like it because I'm such a positive person anyways uh so yeah I think that's enough for uh, Mr. Joe and such. Um, what can we think about now? We have we talk, we're almost uh sixteen minutes into the video, I do believe. Hopefully, my editing skills can do pretty good in editing this audio to sync in with the, you know, this. You know, it's uh so yeah. Uh, right now, let me just talk about what I'm doing right now. So right now, I need to make some uh some of these, some of some. Uh, a brewing stand and now the funny thing is I forgot how to make one wait I know how to make one I need blaze rods a good oh, holy shoe I got a lot of them and then I need some cobblestone let's check over here uh, no cobblestone here no okay we got some cobblestone right here we got some cop no that's all sand sorry uh, let me just get this over here as uh, I think it, I, I think I remember the recipe you just move this like this uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then move this and spam the button right that you know screw it screw it just put that right there and then put this right here put this piece of cobblestone right there and then do we have any more cobblestone there we go we got more and put it right there and there we go we got ourselves 22 pieces of, of brewing stands I didn't really need that much to take because I probably needed like four or five but you know, good thing, good to have extras. You know, let's make ourselves a some two chests. Let's make ourselves two chests. Uh, so let's make the chest recipe. Now, this is pretty much helping me exercise my PC crafting. You know, it's good to exercise PC crafting because you know sometimes people forget their the crafting needed to make stuff like a chest. You know, I almost forgot what how to make a brewing stand in. It's not a good because you know one day I might need to remember how to make a brew instant quickly like you know a server game is gonna tell you uh how do you make this how do you make that how do you make a brewing stand in it you know that could actually be a real game but you know, I had another idea for another game it was like pretty much the same thing as the piggy game but it's a little different I'll explain it and later on in the next episode hopefully you're enjoying this episode here with the missing Ruben uh huh mm hmm but I, I think we yeah. ain't. I, have a, uh, uh, I ran out of time for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you like the video. Hopefully you enjoyed today's story about Joe. We all we all pray for Joe. He, he's having a rough time, you know. And the thing is, he he he, didn't, he never won that that game tournament. Why can't I say tournament correctly? Why? But as much in this video, I want to thank you for watching. If you don't want to be a subscriber.